Jordan Poole went from being the Golden State Warriors next superstar to being one of the worst players in the entire league. You ain't bringing champ environment in here. Right. You learned this in Golden State, nigga? Nah, this what you, you this what nah, you, you brought from nah, them? you ain't learned this. Bro, that's what I'm saying. You ain't learned this. You niggas over there professionals, bro. Yeah. They got your ass out of there because you couldn't fall in line, bro. That's what I'm saying. Niggas like this don't belong in our league, bro. His fall off in the NBA actually must be studied. Like, we know the past history with him and Draymond Green. That was the beginning of the fall off. I didn't expect him to get down to this level. He looks like he doesn't belong out there. He looks like he lost his confidence. He looks like he forgot how to play basketball. But for every story, there is a beginning to how it ends. And I'm gonna take y'all back to how Jordan Poole actually made his name in the league in the first place. Jordan Poole was drafted in the first round and was the 28th pick in the 2019 NBA draft. The Golden State Warriors were fresh off an NBA championship run, which they was not able to win the NBA championship because Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant got hurt. So you can imagine why they would want to draft a guard like Jordan Poole. They needed a guy that could come in and fill in Klay Thompson's spot while he was injured. His rookie season, he started off a little slow, averaging 8.8 .8 points per game, shooting 33% from the field goal percentage. Following that on the next season, he upped his value and started averaging 12 points per game while shooting 43.2 from the field goal percentage. So that shows that he improved and was becoming a better player as he aged. Now the next season, which was the 2021-2022 NBA season, he upped his value again and averaged 18.5 points per game while shooting 44% from the field goal range. That shows that Jordan Poole was working on his game and his value was going up. They ended up winning the NBA championship that season, which was a very focal point for that Golden State Warriors team. After winning the NBA championship, there was a lot of talks about what Jordan Poole was going to be for the Golden State Warriors. He became the third Splash Brother. He had his name going up, his stock was rising, everyone was talking about if Jordan Poole deserves a new max contract, which in that moment, he actually did. But it all went downhill when him and Draymond Green got into it ahead of the 2022-2023 NBA season. After Draymond Green punched him in his face, it was obvious that the team was no longer connected and Jordan Poole's attitude was at an all-time high. Everyone in the world seen how the Warriors team was very dysfunctional. Everyone in the world seen how Draymond Green and Jordan Poole just couldn't be in the same team at the same time. But it came down to the line where the Golden State Warriors had to choose to either keep Draymond Green or keep Jordan Poole. As y'all can see in the new 2024 NBA season, they traded Jordan Poole to the Washington Wizards. And before the season started, a lot of NBA players were saying that this was going to be Jordan Poole's rise. This was going to be Jordan Poole's new destination that could actually elevate him to becoming an NBA superstar, or at least an NBA star for the least. Guys like Kevin Garnett and Andre Iguodala had very high hopes for Jordan Poole. But when the season started, everything went downhill for him again because teams had coverages for him, teams were prepared for him, and he could no longer hide under Steph Curry's shadow. Because coming off the bench for the Golden State Warriors, where they have to plan for guys like Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, helped Jordan Poole elevate his game. But now that he's playing in an NBA team that don't have no superstar, that don't have no secondary star, that barely have any real scoring options for real, they're able to lock in on Jordan Poole and they're actually showing how bad he could actually be. Jordan Poole this season is averaging 15.8 points per game, 3.6 assists, 2.4 rebounds while shooting 39% from the field goal percentage. He went downhill from his previous season. He's shooting 5 points less on a team that don't have a superstar. But we thought it could only get any worse for Jordan Poole, didn't we? This season has been so bad for Jordan Poole that the Washington Wizards just decided to bench him. The reporters asked him how he felt about the situation and he quoted that if there's any common sense with the situation, you should know how I feel, but I'm just going to come out, do what I can do to help the team keep it moving. 
but he shouldn't even have to make a statement like this because Jordan Poole should be having his best season of his career. I understand that teams were prepared for him, but he's looking like he doesn't know how to play basketball at this point. And the only reason why I believe so is because of that Draymond Green situation. If Jordan Poole just got traded because he was being a problem in the locker room, I still believe he could have been a very good player on the Wizards. I personally believe that Draymond Green punched this man so hard and Draymond Green embarrassed this man so badly that now he has lost the respect for his peers. And being an NBA player, the worst thing you could do is losing the respect for your peers. If they think you're soft, you're not going to be able to compete because guys won't take you serious. Guys will try to push you to your limit. Guys will try to try you in order to get you out your character. Even your teammates will lose respect for you because that is what we're seeing out there in the Washington Wizards. It seemed like his team is not connected with him. His team probably wants him to fail. His team doesn't believe in him. His team doesn't pick him up when he falls. It seemed like everybody is against Jordan Poole and even the organization that traded for him is against him because not only that they bench him, they've been looking for trade options for Jordan Poole. Speculations have been going now that the Washington Wizards are open to trading Jordan Poole if they can find a valuable asset in return. That is so absurd because about two years ago when they won the NBA championship, we had guys talking about how Jordan Poole was going to be the next Stephen Curry. And now we got guys like me making videos like this out. Jordan Poole's career has had an extremely dangerous, scary fall and he must do everything in his power to try to regain the confidence to play the game of basketball. Because if you don't have the confidence to play the game of basketball, you won't be successful in it. Your jump shot will look off. You won't be able to make the right passes. You won't be as tough on the court and it will also show in your defense. Jordan Poole actually needs to talk to his family. He needs to take some time away from basketball if he has to. He needs to prioritize this offseason that is coming up on his mental health because I personally fear for the man who knows what Jordan Poole is thinking right now who knows what's going on in his head right now he is failing and everyone in the entire world is adding on to it but I believe he will come back I believe Jordan Poole will have a comeback season next season because I don't think the kid can't play I just think he lost his groove the man made a mistake. He won an NBA championship and was one of the biggest part of it and his head got too big. He got too cocky. He started to showboat too much. He started to think that he was bigger than the team. He started to think that he could talk to guys like Draymond Green, guys like Klay Thompson, or maybe guys like Steve Kerr in any way that he wanted. And everything came back to hunt him. But it's not the end of the world. Because I actually believe that the next NBA season, if the Washington Wizards could put some better pieces around Jordan Poole, whether he has to come off the bench or start, I believe Jordan Poole will come back ready. I believe he will focus on his mental health and I believe we will be talking about a whole different Jordan Poole next season. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, with our road to 1,000 subscribers, we are gone.